Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. Today we're gonna cook some Arctic char, which is a little bit different for me. I've never had it before. You may never have heard of it. It obviously looks uh, a lot like salmon, a little bit like trout, and it's very sustainable. This starts off over in Iceland, uh, and I believe that it's a farm called Matorka. Um, and then Silver Scale is effectively kind of the UK distributor. Okay, so I'm gonna put this onto a cedar board, as you see lots of people doing with salmon. And we'll stand that up in the fire. See the scales, it's just got some beautiful coloration. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna nail it to the board so that it doesn't slip. It doesn't take too much. Because I've never had it before, um, I'm gonna go really, really simple just with lemon juice a bit of salt and pepper so that I can actually taste the flavours and hopefully tell you guys what this is about. The reason this is sustainable is because it is effectively farmed on land, so none of the fish waste actually goes out into the sea. There's not that problem with sea lice and things like that, so I'm told it's a much, much better fish. I'm hoping to actually go to Iceland and uh, I'll be able to show you that, that footage myself soon. If you want to see a video like that, then drop something in the comments. Uh, the more that I have, the more chance I've got to go. So I'm going to try and show you a completely new way of cooking on the, uh, the Somerset Grill, which I've never done before, but it's going to be so, so simple. All we're going to do is because that is attached to the wood now, it shouldn't go anywhere. And all I'm going to do is stand it up just like that on the wood against the grill. And then what I'm going to do is I've already got these coals that I've used from another shoot and we're going to move those coals a little bit closer just so it sort of heats that up really, really gently. I've gone for the thicker side at the bottom uh, because that's gonna take sort of more cooking and obviously a little bit thinner at the top where the heat is gonna be less. So what I've done is I've left a gap here and obviously the charcoal is hopefully sort of far enough away there to still cook it but not too close to overcook it. The idea is that I quite like this to go quite slowly where possible and throughout the cook, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this and keep drizzling uh, some lemon juice all the way down it just to sort of enhance those flavors. But I'll probably check on this sort of every, every 10 minutes or so to start with. So I'm pretty sure that this is done now. It's got a, a nice sort of firm feel to it, which is, is great. And, and obviously you would have seen how I rotated it the original plan was to leave it, but I think I think rotating it has, has done some good. So let's get it off and have a taste. Bear in mind this is Arctic char, not salmon. I mean, it looks like salmon though. So it's cooked beautifully through. I'm gonna try and describe to you what this actually tastes like. Bon Appetit. So straight away, it, it, it feels more, um, it feels more muscular than a trout. So trout is quite delicate, but it, feel, it, it tastes actually a little bit, a little bit like rainbow trout. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like, it's like salmon, but not salmon. And it's like trout, but not trout but it's definitely of that sort of that pink fish ilk, not like a white fish. This is, this is gorgeous. If this is sustainable and this is, you know, the best thing that we can get to salmon and things, then this is a really good choice. So if you want to see me go to Iceland and find out exactly where these fish are from and watch them being farmed, then, uh, then let me know and I'll do my best to put a, a trip together. This really is an amazing fish. I'll put all the links and the info for where you can actually get hold of this in the description to have a little look at that. I think we need to spread the word about this fish, about how good it is. Let's get it on some menus uh, across the UK and, uh, and get it into some, some top chef's hands. I'm sure they'll do a better job than I have. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, um, and I am gonna absolutely devour this.